The chaos on Capitol Hill is not letting up. A resolution that would have kept temporary Speaker Patrick McHenry in his position through the end of the year appears to be a non-starter. It comes after hardline Republican Congressman Jim Jordan failed twice to reach the required number of votes to be elected Speaker. He canceled a third vote that was set for today. The House has been without a Speaker for more than two weeks now after Kevin McCarthy was ousted from his position. NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Noble is following this for us. So, Ryan, why has this plan suddenly lost Republican support, and is there any chance that Democrats may go for it? So the short answer is no, uh, Zinkley. Uh, it seems as though once this proposal was floated uh, to Republicans in a private conference meeting, uh, many of them just didn't like the idea. They didn't think that this was going to solve the problem. They were concerned about granting these uh, temporary powers uh, to uh, the uh, Speaker Pro Tem, Patrick McHenry, and the, and the long-term implications of that. And as a result, Jim Jordan uh, emerged from that meeting, made it clear that that option was off the table, but also made it clear that he was still running for Speaker and that he was going to try and meet with the holdouts to try and convince them to come to his side. Uh, and uh, Jordan even went as far as to suggest that we could see another vote on the House floor even today. Uh, now, even though he is asking for that, Zinkley, there's not a lot of evidence that the outcome is going to change all that much. The 22 Republicans who did not vote for him the last time, not one of them has publicly changed their position, and there's no indication they will if another vote goes to the floor. Zinkley? So, Ryan, what happens next? Jordan still doesn't have the votes, and also, I mean, the House has quite the agenda to get through. I wish I knew the answer to that question, Zinkley. Nobody really knows what's next. Uh, you know, Dave Joyce... Uh, from Ohio, uh, who is the originator of this resolution for the short-term fix to, to Patrick McHenry, told uh, a couple of our colleagues uh, just a few minutes ago uh, that uh, the Republican conference couldn't vote uh, to agree on the time of day. They're that divided right now. And so when you have a, a conference that is fractured as this one, where you have so many different competing agendas, the likelihood of settling on someone that can get to 217 votes seems incredibly elusive. So at this point, it's anybody's best guess as to what comes next. But the only thing we know for sure is that there's no speaker, and that means Congress is paralyzed and all these big, important issues will not be addressed. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.